Hello everyone. Purpose of this session is to give you basic idea how you can do performance monitoring for KVM guest and uh, how you can do troubleshooting. So I will explain a few things using graphical interface, few things using uh, CLI. So let's begin. Okay, I'm on a graphical console for the KVM host where KVM is installed. So I will go to application, go to system tools, we'll go to virtual machine manager. You can see there are two VMs and uh, this is the current resource utilization for the VM. This is a console and uh, here, let me power it on. You can see this is the area where CPU utilization will be listed. You can see this machine is booting, so CPU utilization is a bit high at present, but it will come to normal. And uh, in troubleshooting, uh, what you can do if your VM is not uh, powering off uh, when you initiated command or sh shut down VM name, then you can uh, shut down it forcefully. Here you can continuously see what is the resource utilization. If you want to shut down a VM forcefully, that's very easy. Just right click on that VM, click on shut down. There is an option called force off. Force off will uh, forcefully power it off in case it is not shutting down. Force reset is forcefully restarting. Shutdown is normal shutdown. Reboot is reboot. If you want to decommission a VM, simply click delete here. That VM will be decommissioned. Uh, this is something about uh, Versh Manager Graphical. In case uh, using command line, you have to do some troubleshooting. On your KVM host, the CD into directory var log libvert. And uh, here you will see directory called qmo. Do ls minus la. You can see uh, there are a couple of files. Test bin. 7.log this was the vm name this is this was the vm name this was the vm name these are two current vms test vm 11 and 12 you can see what is happening to these vms so log files will be returned uh, for example you can run a view on this file you can see uh, these are the data or things which are happening on the vm and similarly uh, let's take example of uh, this particular uh, guest file systems if you want to see what is happening with file system uh, that's a way like all the things are listed here for your test vm1 if you want to see what was done or what happened you can see the logs it was shutting down reason was shut down because i fired shutdown command so everything is locked here moreover in the rad log messages file all the major things will be added because you remember we have uh, started a vm uh, here you can see started this particular vm kvm1 guest is now active and uh, this virtual bridge port 3 entered in learning state in forwarding state or topology change uh, detected what is happening with dscp dns mask on the vms what is happening with the uh, storage pool you can see there is a conflict it uh, just recorded because uh, active console session was already existing you remember we were running a console and id attempting to uh, run the same console again and it told it is already running so you can see all the messages are logged in uh, var log messages file here when a ip address is allocated when it is getting released everything is logged uh, into var log messages also so kvm zero guest is active no guest is active this particular qmo 6 with label lab vm1 is terminated it is no more there because we undefined this one some time back everything is locked here guys so this file is var log messages the default uh, messages file for all the operating system related logs so guys uh, these are the couple of things which you can use when you are doing troubleshooting i'm not saying uh, the things which i have explained they are best but they will give you some idea on how you can tackle the situation in case you are required to do so thank you guys with this session uh, I finished this particular training session. I hope you have uh, enjoyed and uh, learned a few things about KVM and you will start using KVM for your lab setups and if your work required you to do some administration on KVM, it will uh, give you a bit comfort now. If you have any question, any query, you can leave a comment. Thanks a lot for watching.
watching this video. Best of luck, guys. Bye.